Howdy, and welcome to the Notre Dame Seminary Christmas Luncheon for Priests virtual event. My name is Stephen Chabaria from the Diocese of Tyler, and I'm the Student Association President for this year. It's my privilege and my honor to welcome you and to thank you for your participation here today. 2020 has been filled, as we know, with many unexpected difficulties and challenges, but at the seminary we have been encouraged and inspired by your continued prayers and your support of us throughout this whole time. It's been difficult, but it's been also been filled with many blessings and unexpected graces, like more time in front of the Blessed Sacrament for prayer and more time in intentional fraternity through things like our Wiffle Ball League and our uh, Spades Tournament. But, like all these things, none of it would have been possible without your prayers and your support of us. So thank you so much again for your participation today, and may God continue to bless you. Welcome to Notre Dame Seminary. Sorry that we could not meet together as a group this year for the Christmas luncheon, but I want to thank you all for your generosity and your support of what's a very important event for us at Notre Dame Seminary. Partly to thank you uh, for all that you've done for the seminary, but also a chance for us to enjoy community. It's been a, a very difficult and challenging year. Uh, here at the seminary, we've been using a lot of our time to pray for those who have died as a result of the pandemic, those who've lost their jobs or experienced financial hardship. We have a weekly rosary in which these intentions are offered, and certainly each day prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. So please be assured of our prayers. Even though this has been a challenging year, interestingly enough, we began the semester in August with the highest enrollment ever in the history of Notre Dame Seminary. As you may know, we opened in 1923, and we're approaching our 100th anniversary. We started this year with 153 seminarians. Praise God, so your prayers are working as we ask the Lord to send more ministers into the vineyard. So keep those prayers coming. These young men are being formed uh, in the pastoral challenging times. And you expect that, you demand that, that we have competent, effective, prayerful priests. So keep those prayers coming as well. I'd like to share with you uh, that pandemic actually hit our house. We had at one point 56 seminarians uh, back in October who had uh, the virus that challenged us within the community. But again, we used that time uh, to not turn inward, but to have our spiritual lives point outward. So, uh, even in times of suffering, what can the Lord be asking of us? I want to thank uh, all of those who have sponsored this year's event in a particular way to uh, Gail Benson and Phyllis Taylor, who are the chief supporters of this event, as well as the many, many other table sponsors as well. I look forward to gathering next year back together in person as a community, even the spring when we have our annual gala event as well. But for now, I wish you and your families a blessed Christmas season. May the Lord shower upon all of us many, many graces as we prepare for a new year. From Notre Dame Seminary, God bless you. Thank you. Hello, friends and benefactors of NDS. My name is Austin Barr. I'm a seminarian here at Notre Dame Seminary in my first year of theology. Here today to just tell you a little bit about my journey uh, toward the seminary. So really, uh, it started in, in college because throughout high school, um, really and before high school, I was a daily ma or Sunday mass goer, uh, not daily mass yet, that started in college. But I was a Sunday mass goer and that was about it. Uh, I went to a parish school of religion but I didn't really dive deep into the faith, and I kind of just left that for, for Sunday morning um, and really was somewhat thinking about Saints games probably uh, during that. Uh, but when I got to college, all that kind of started to change. I started to get invited uh, around the Catholic Student Center, uh, friends that I knew in high school that were going around there. Uh, so I went to go check it out and see what it was all about. And really kind of learning more and more about the faith, I started to fall in love with it. Um, so I started to just fall in love with the church and fall in love with Christ uh, in a very uh, real way that I didn't do before, before that. Um, so I got invited on, on some retreats, and it was, it was through retreats and, and silent retreat, uh, in particular one that I remember, and really just a genuine prayer of surrender uh, before God that I started to kind of feel a desire uh, to be a priest or to, to discern being a priest and to follow him in that way that he may be wanted me to do that, that he had created me uh, to do that. 
but I was still a little bit nervous. Uh, I guess you'd say I still wasn't very sold on that a hundred percent because um, because of just other other things, the worldly desires that I had, good good ones uh, for family, marriage, um, and for maybe a career and a job. All of these things that uh, I thought I was going to be thinking about and doing when when I got to college, that's what I wanted to do. Um, so that's what I did. I, I discerned those things um, for a while. Discerned uh, marriage and and just kind of through those in a good relationship and just through friendships uh, and especially to the good example of, of Holy Priest uh, at the Student Center that I was able to kind of just come to understand uh, that just because I desired things uh, that were good uh, in themselves uh, that didn't mean that God wasn't calling me even deeper uh, calling me to conform myself even deeper to him uh, as his priest so the priest just kind of kept bugging me uh, to go to discernment group and so through discernment group and friends um, I started to realize that uh, the the call the, the kind of bugging like God bugging me in a, in a sense wasn't going to go away uh, so I had to come and, and check it out and it was when I made again that that surrender uh, that okay Lord I'll I'll follow you and I'll go to seminary that I had a, a great sense of peace in that um, and I was able to just rest for the first time uh, in a few years probably because I, I stopped running um, so very quickly uh, I ended up here at Notre Dame Seminary uh, and I just going through formation it's been great and uh, being formed here uh, by the church uh, at Our Lady Seminary especially uh, at this seminary dedicated to Our Lady uh, I couldn't ask for for anything really better than that and it has been such a blessed journey for me uh, and just to have all these friends and formators here and I just want to say too thank you because it is because of you uh, all of your prayers uh, especially but your support and generosity that uh, me and all the seminarians here are able to be here to be formed and configured to Christ more perfectly and to maybe serve you one day and the rest of the church. So thank you so much and God bless. Hello, my name is Ryan Storr and I'm a T1 seminarian here at Notre Dame Seminary studying for the Diocese of Jackson. What that means basically is that I've been here for three years. And so uh, my journey kind of starts when I finished college. I had three job offers. Uh, I was a mechanical engineer and two of those job offers were to work with solar panels and the other job offer uh, was going to be uh, working with nuclear propulsion systems with the Navy and just developing new systems and training the people that dealt with them. So basically what I'm trying to say is that my entire life I've been successful. Whether it was with athletics, like I was a very good swimmer uh, for the last few years of high school, made it to state, did very well at state, went to uh, the step below the Olympic trials. Uh, with school I was very successful, I was the salutatorian of my class and so everyone kind of looked at me as a success. And so, um, after uh, college, I decided to do the third option, which was to be a nuclear engineer. And uh, I was waiting for my nuclear engineering security clearance. And while I was waiting, uh, it took about six months, I went to confession, and I told the priest my sins. And for the first time in my life, that priest looked at me and said I was loved, not because of all the things I had done, but school or athletics, or just being a good person, but rather, just told me that God loved me for me and all he knew was my sins he didn't really know my successes he didn't know all that I was good at but he knew only my sins and he told me that God loved me in that and then he said I should consider the priesthood and from that moment I think that was just the call to my initial conversion where I saw that God wants a relationship with me not for anything that I do for him but just because he made me and he loves me for who I am and so coming to seminary now being here for three years, I've seen a lot more of myself than I would have thought existed. I kind of, or we're kind of encouraged to go deep into our own darkness, uh, to integrate ourselves, to learn how God loves us, and then use that love to love others. And so I really like this process of seminary because we learn about God, but we also learn how to be in a relationship with Him. We learn how to let Him love us, and then from that, we can love others. And so seminary and the priesthood really has given me a new meaning to life, a new joy in living life, because I, in some small way, in my own imperfect way, can help others experience the love of God through my love of them and through my offering of myself in my vocation to them. 
And so I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to go deeper into my relationship with God so that one day I can serve the people of Mississippi um, and show them how much they are loved by God too. Hello, my name is Christopher Oreitaka. I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of Thailand, Texas. I'm here to say on behalf of the community a big thank you for being part of our Christmas virtual luncheon. We know that 2020 has been a very tough year for everyone, but with your prayers and your kind words and all the wonderful gifts, we have been able to strive despite everything. And we really, really do appreciate it. As the year draws to a close, we are here as a community to say Merry Christmas. And as we look forward to a new year, we pray for God's blessing upon each and every one of you. And we hope that in 2021, we'll be together as a family to celebrate once again, to share our gifts together and to share God's blessing. Especially from the NDS community, I'm here to say especially that we are always praying for you. Every member of the community offers their prayers for you daily as we pray that someday we'll continue to be together. Once more we say thank you and have a merry, merry Christmas.